question. Right. The place that dropped the microwave in the market. What did it look like? Oh, do you have some chai? <laughs> Age. But, but it was just a kid. What about his infantic group? Well, I didn't ask anyone with him. No, I... No, I mean his Caucasian, Dale. He was African, I think. Seems very funny, Dale boy. Right, so you said he was about average height. On this um, questionnaire, you said he was no more little than a dwarf. Age, you said 25. On this questionnaire, you said he was about 25, not just a kid. Right, and then I asked you what's his inventic group. On this one, well, that's the only question you got right, Dale. He was African, I think. Right. I'm going to go and have to check this over with my boss. Uh. <clears throat> oh, sorry, Dale. Do you want a cup of tea? Nah, it's all right, Saya. I had one yesterday. <laughs> good, good. <sighs> so, considering to my boss, Sorry, Dale boy, I'm just reading these descriptions of the plantain of the market. Oh, it's good, Dale, it's good. According to you and your questionnaire put together, we are looking for a six foot seven inch dwarf aged between 15 and 50, a white male with oriental features, who's as black as Newgate Knocker. <laughs> and oh yeah, he wears a death aid. Not a lot to go on, Inspector. If I was, if I was to take this down to the court, I would have you pay for. Can we do that again? There you go. If I was to take you into this court, I could have you for perjury as well. Ah, oh, I've just found this in our recorders department. I hope it's Barry Manilow. No, it's not Barry Manilow, Dell. It says here, criminal file number 94628-876. Name, Trotter. Trotter. Rodney Trotter. Now listen, say, like, Roy. Just, here, now, well, come on. Let's leave Rodney out of this, eh? He was a little scallywag at that art school work. He caught in some tarts room, puffing and macaroon when buying. Now listen, he was innocent. Well, not calling into this, he weren't. He only went to the, he only went to a room to borrow some charcoal. Whatever he was smoking when the police burst in, it weren't charcoal, Dell. Now, I wonder what if it happened horrors on horrors, I was to discover a legal suspect in one of Rodney's pockets. Leave it out, Slater. You know Rodney's got nothing in his pockets. That's so remended. I see. And what are you going to get stitched ground back up at for? Found in possession of a stolen bus pass or demanding protection money from the local Derby and Jones Club. Oh no, I see that granddad gets out of this. And why you and Rodney are suing mailbags? Granddad be back on the estate alone. Just what is that supposed to mean? Dangerous places these estates, Dale. I do hope granddad doesn't fall victim into the mindless filth that walks our streets. I thought you drove everywhere nowadays. Listen to me, Slayer. I know a lot of coppers, and they're good blokes. I mean, I don't like them, but they play a fair game. And then there's you, you dirty, stinking, stinking, steady Dale. I don't want to have to add abusive language to whatever grown list of offensive. I might not have a room on the charges sheet. You and young Rodney are going down for at least a year apiece, unless you give me the name of the mush who nicked the microwave. I'll leave that, Slater. You know I can't do that. It's against my principles. Mama would turn in her grave if she knew I'd become a copper's knock. You're going to have a lot of time to think about your principles 
I hope the porridge ain't too lumpy. I'll get the charges sheets typed out. Now just wait a minute, Roy. Let's not be hasty. I think we can make a deal. I don't like deals. You're gonna like this one. I give you the name of the bloke that stole that my oven. You let Rodney and Granddad go. No charges. Yeah, all right. I'll let them go. And you drop also drop the charges against me. Oh come on, Del. I was looking forward to that. You don't seem to understand what I'm saying, Slater. Once I've given you the name, I'll be one of your grasses. Oh, Del, Del, boy, this that is beautiful. You're one. You would be one of my merry men. I love you in my pocket. I could bounce you around about and make you dance whenever I wanted. I felt bored, and if I ever stepped out of line, I'd let you be the one on the streets. That's your informer. Yeah, I know. <sighs> the deal's on my oppo. I dropped the charges against you. You have my word. Your word? Your word means as much as a guaranteed on that cookie microwave. No, I want immunity for, prostitu for prosecution. And I want it in writing. And I want it signed, sealed and delivered. Sealed and delivered. I'll get a range right away, Dale. Oh, we're going to have a good future together, you and me. I can feel it. What's wrong, Dale? Cursing the day you crossed me? No, I'm cursing the day I made them stop at your belly button. I think we need to have a break. There you are, Dale, boy. You're in unity for prosecution, signed by the superintendent himself. It'll be interesting for them to see you in the real light. The great devil boy, the man who could talk his way out of a room with no doors, reduced to this grassing. Got him. It's got me all ends up. Got no choice. He was a man with a deaf aid. I wasn't, I wasn't doing it for myself. Threatened, threatened to plant something up. I've got no choice. I've got no choice. I've got no choice. Because if I tell you, it means otherwise Rodney and Grandad would go down for it. I've got no choice. I've got no choice. All right, Mr. Slate, I'm meeting you down to business. Oh, Delroy, those words are music to my ears. I wish cherish this moment. Right, here, oh, Del, who nicked it? They are free, free to go, ain't they? Yes, they're free to go. No charges. They can leave whenever they like. Okay, just give me his name. You've got nothing on me either. No, you've got immunity for prosecution. You've less of a chance to pull one than the Queen. As long as I know. Right, for the third and last time of asking, who nicked the microwave off the back of the lorry? I did. TV's deep freeze and David Bowie LPs. All games, gold chains, wuss names, and head of and Trevor Francis tracks suits from a mush and shepherd's bush. Bush, 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 bush. No income tax, no V8, no money back.